Hello kids. Today we are going to learn an interesting astronomical phenomena called as eclipse. This phenomena occurs when the sun, the moon and the earth in course of their movement come in a straight line. This happen in two ways. Let us look at each one of them. When the moon comes in between the sun and the earth, it blocks the light of the sun and casts a shadow on a small portion of the earth. The people living in the shadow area of the earth are hence not able to see the sun. This is called as solar eclipse. Let us look at this video to see how exactly it happens. This is the original position because of the movement of earth and the moon. Now slowly because of moon revolving around the earth it comes in between the sun and the earth and now see how there is a dark shadow falling on earth and see how now the people on the earth are not able to see the sun there are various forms of solar eclipse due to the movement of earth around the sun and the movement of moon around the earth. If the sun is totally blocked off by the moon, it is a total solar eclipse. If the sun is blocked off in a way that only a ring is seen, it is called as annular eclipse. It occurs when the moon is too far from the earth to entirely cover the sun. And if the sun is only partially blocked off, it is called as partial solar eclipse. Now let us see what happens when the earth comes in between sun and the moon. The moon is not getting sunlight as earth is blocking the sunlight and hence the moon is not visible from the earth. This is called as lunar eclipse and only occurs on the full moon day. Let us look at this video to see exactly how it happens. So see how the moon is revolving around the earth. And now in this position the earth is between the sun and the moon. And as you can see from earth the moon is not visible because the sun's light is not reaching the moon and moon doesn't have its own light. So the people on earth are not able to see the moon. The lunar eclipse does not last long since the moon continues revolving around the earth and hence moon moves out of this straight line. So moon slowly starts becoming visible as it starts reflecting the sun's light and then it can be seen as full moon again after few days. Till now we have talked about moon coming in between the sun and the earth that is the solar eclipse and the earth coming in between the sun and the moon that is the lunar eclipse. Now this is an interesting question. Is it possible that sun can come in between the earth and the moon? Think how earth is revolving around the sun and how moon is revolving around the earth. Draw it on paper and see is it possible? No, it is not possible. This is because the distance between the earth and the sun is too big compared to the distance between earth and the moon. And hence moon continues to revolve around the earth and earth continues to revolve around the sun but never can moon go at a distance which is farther from the sun and hence sun cannot come in between the earth and the moon. So hope you enjoyed this chapter. Have fun kids. Bye bye.